Conor McGregor has become famous for his ability to manifest his dreams. It feels beautiful. I dreamt this so much, so clearly, so precisely, and so frequently that it has manifested itself into reality. And that's what we, uh, that's what I am feeling right now. But what is manifestation and how does it work? Manifestation, as we usually hear it talked about, relates to bringing the abstract to the physical. Conor McGregor is a master of this and does so by combining visualization with deliberate action. Step one, start with a clear and focused vision. I'm a professional MMA fighter with a record of four and one. Um, I'm an up and coming fighter and without a doubt you will see me on the UFC in the, in the near future. McGregor had a clear vision to become a champion in the UFC and he used that clarity of purpose to drive him forward at an early age. You've got to be almost insane to your craft. Not a lot of people can understand that. That's why I don't know about nothing else. I do not pay attention to nothing else. There was games of football on yesterday, there was rugby, there was this, there was that. And like normal society is like, let's talk about this and let's, let's engage in this. And I just don't, I can't do it. I just don't, I'm, I, people are talking to me and in my head I'm, I'm counting something. I'm counting up a number or I'm, or I'm knee deep in a sequence on the mat or in, on the feet. That's my life, sequences and numbers. Nothing else, I cannot pay attention to nothing else. An obsessive focus and dedication to the vision is required if you want to achieve something on the magnitude of what Connor was chasing. It's finding the balance between having the grand vision for your life. I always visualize good things. I always visualize victory, success, abundance. While also visualizing the tiniest moments that will get you there along the way. I see these shots, I see these sequences, and I don't shy away from them. Step two, make your vision feel real. It's one thing to say you want something, but what gives your vision power is the ability to feel the emotions of having the result in your mind before it's physical in the world. I always have the attitude that I have. I always, again, I always felt like I was the a black belt walking in there. You know what I mean? I always felt like I was the world champion. I always felt like I already could do everything. I was only telling you about the sofa the other day, I was wrong. Got the rental walking around, <clears throat> walking around like I was a fucking pro. You know what I mean? But I don't, I don't want anything. I have everything. That, that's a mindset I want me. I have everything. I have everything. You know I mean? Connor's ability to actualize his vision all comes down to his self-belief. Say, so I had to believe in it. I had to feel it. I had to have faith in it for it to happen. That belief, combined with detailed and emotional visualization, has been key to his success. I already visualized uh, my hands getting wrapped in. What, maybe walking out to the wings, walking out to the cage. I, visual, I can see everything, I can see. Of course I visualized the belt, man. That belt, that, that belt is on me up 24 seven. Step three, combine vision and action. Visualization itself won't get you results you need to take deliberate and consistent action. And just visualize, just visualize and, and, and dream, you know what I mean? Isolation, visualization, motivation, and dedication. They are the keys to success. Connor combined both deliberate practice and visualization to manifest his reality. I believed it was gonna happen. I put the work in for it to happen, and it happened. So it's a, it's a strong thing, the power of visualization. Step four, align vision with higher purpose. If you can connect with something larger than yourself, you'll have extra fuel to see your vision all the way through. I can do what I've been dreaming of doing, giving back to the people who have given so much to me. I always visualize what given. Connor was fighting for his family, his team, and his country which gave him a higher purpose to pursue during his journey. People since day one are here with me now, so I, I just want to thank everybody that's been with me and the Irish people that support me. I swear to God, I've done this for us. Step five, stay consistent with your vision, no matter what. The only way you succeed is if you never give up. If we are obsessed with something and we truly pursue our passion with everything we have, regardless of any, anything else, if you are obsessed, work hard, put in the time, you will succeed. And, and that is a philosophy that I carry, my coaches carry. And Connor had committed to his vision before anyone else knew he existed. And that's what ultimately led to the vision becoming a reality. You are whatever you tell yourself, you know what I mean? I'm telling myself I'm the two-way champ. You know what I mean? That, that's that. You know what they say, when you see it in your head, who says that? When someone says when you see it in your head, you're gonna see it before your eyes. Step six. 
be grateful every step of the way. One of the most important parts of turning a vision into reality is feeling grateful for what you currently have. And, and knowing, that, knowing that, that I have that kind of mentality about it, that's what gives me confidence going in there. You know, I've already visualized what, what, what's, what's ahead of me here. I've already visualized uh, my hands getting wrapped in. What maybe walking out to the wings, walking out to the cage, a visual, I can see everything. I Connor felt the feelings of gratitude all the way up until his dream manifested. I'm absolutely blown away by the support. I can't put into words how grateful I am for everyone to support me and follow me. In conclusion, if you can make your vision clear, emotional, if you can combine your vision with deliberate action, if you can align your vision with a higher purpose, be consistent and stay grateful every step of the way, then you can visualize like Conor McGregor and hopefully create your own legacy in your own way. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and check out more mindset videos featured on the screen right now. This has been Brandon Epstein from The Bee Mindset. Thanks for watching.